the most important thing in treating PCOD or PCOS yeah. is balancing your insulin because insulin plays a big role if you want to cure your PCOD or PCOS. This is modern concept. Ayurveda says if you want to treat PCOD or PCOS, you have to pacify the kapha in the body. That's why Ayurveda recommends kapha pacifying diet if you want to treat PCOD or PCOS. This diet I have on my website. I'll put the link down below in the description box. It's very easy diet. There will be just list of products that you have to consume and list of product that you should avoid. That's it. Now what you have to eat in lunch, breakfast, dinner, you have to decide by yourself what you have to eat and what you should avoid. This all information has been given by Ayurveda and Kapha pacifying diet. You can notice that in this diet, all the products, maximum of the products that you can consume are the products that are not going to spike your insulin. For example, in fruits, banana is in the list what to avoid and apples are in the list which what you should consume. So the food that is not going to spike your insulin is the food that you should eat and the food that spikes your insulin, this is what you have to avoid. Ayurveda and modern medical science both say same thing, just the terminology is different. So kapha pacifying food is what you have to consume. Now, if we talk specifically about the herbs or the spices, then the best spice to consume will be for sure cinnamon. Cinnamon is best spice to control your insulin spike. Cinnamon helps to pacify kapha. Cinnamon improves your immunity. It is going to balance your hormones. So start using cinnamon every day in your diet. You can drink cinnamon tea or you can use cinnamon in your food. If we talk about oils, then Ayurveda says you have to use very less oil in your food and if you want to use the best oil to use will be coconut oil. You can drink one teaspoon or one tablespoon of coconut oil at night before sleep. This will balance your hormones, will reduce the inflammation. This is going to give you lots of antioxidants and it's going to improve your digestion also. So you are going to get lots and lots of benefits of consuming coconut oil but if you will drink coconut oil or if you use coconut oil you have to cut down on other forms of fat coconut oil will be your main source of fat no other oils to be used now if we talk about ayurvedic medicines that can help you over here i will give you general information because in PCOD, you have to go individually. We don't have a general protocol for all the patients of PCOD, especially in Ayurveda. Every person is treated differently. But over here, I will try to give you a general information that can be helpful. Bad, nothing is going to happen. You can give it a try. So in the list of Ayurvedic herb, the first one is Kanchanar Gugul. Here is the name, how it's written. I can understand it's hard for many of you to pronounce it or to understand what I'm saying. So Kanchanar Gugul, this is the name of Ayurvedic medicine. It comes in tablet form. It's totally herbal, no chemical in it. Buy of any company. I'm not promoting any company. Thousands of company makes it. Buy of any. If you'll get Kanchanar Gugul DS, it will be more beneficial. How to take two tablets, two times in a day, empty stomach. You have to drink warm water after it and throughout the day you have to drink warm water. This will be helpful. So Kanchanar Gugul. Why we are using Kanchanar Gugul? Kanchanar Gugul is very beautiful medicine. It balances our body. It's very good for our thyroid. It can help in decreasing the size of cyst. Kanchanar Gugul works very well on all the cysts in our body. Any extra growth on that Kanchanar Gugul is going to work. Either it's endometrium, either it's cyst in your ovaries, either it's cyst in your breast. Kanchanar Gugul is a very good herb. Start using it. Second, my recommendation is about Trifla. Powder is best, but if you can't use powder because of its taste, then you can go for tablets. If you'll go for powder, one teaspoon at night before sleep, you can use Trifla, you can mix it in water and drink it or either just take the powder and, and then drink the water and this way you can take it. Either you can mix it with honey, a little bit of honey, mix it and take it. These are the way how you can take Trifla. But if you are totally not comfortable with powder, then you can go with tablets. Three tablets 
at night before sleep you have to take why because trifla is going to help your gut be why i'm recommending trifla because it is going to improve your digestion ayurveda says if you want to treat any of the disease the first thing that you have to focus on is gut health koshta in ayurveda we say it. so your koshta should be healthy and for that we are using trifla over here now the last herb or the herbal medicine this is it's a very hard name raja pravartini vati Raja means menstrual blood. Pravartini means that triggers the flow of menstrual blood. Vati means tablet. So the tablets that triggers flow of menstrual blood is known as Raja Pravartini Vati. All natural, only herbs used in it. Very powerful formulation. Who have to use these tablets? Females whose menstrual cycles are irregular. That very often happens in PCOD or PCOS. Many times their menstrual cycles are totally disturbed. There is a gap of 40 days, 45 days, 60 days, means two months, three months. This happens. So if this is the case with you also, then you can add the last one, Raja Pravartini Vati. Two tablets, two times in a day. You can take it empty stomach also, or you can take it 30 minutes after your meal as you are comfortable. But here is a catch. You don't have to take it every single day. You have to take it from 22nd day of your menstrual cycle. For example, if your menstrual cycle started on 1st of any of the month, then you'll be taking this medicine, Raja Pravartini Vati, on 22nd of this month. So from the day when your menstrual cycle started, you have to count 22 days and then you have to start taking Raja Pravartini Vati. How long to take it? up to the time menstrual cycle doesn't start. If it starts within seven days, eight days, stop it. If it takes long, you have to continue with Raja Pravartini Vati. And as menstrual cycle starts, stop taking Raja Pravartini Vati. All other medications that I have talked in this video, you can continue with that. How long should be the treatment? It is going to be three menstrual cycles. For that long, you have to take. If the things are going good, things are improving, I will suggest you to visit an Ayurvedic doctor near to you. Find a good Ayurvedic doctor. Visit that doctor. They are going to help you a lot. In Ayurveda, there is very good treatment of PCOD. I personally don't believe that a female who is suffering from PCOD, she is not going to conceive. I haven't seen single case in my life which I have treated and the lady was not able to conceive. This just doesn't happen all females can conceive even with pcod or pcos the only thing is getting right treatment so visit an ayurvedic doctor near to you you can try all of these recommendations for a few months and you'll have more faith on ayurveda then you can take your call but with these things you have to make sure you are doing regular exercises regular yoga breathing exercises these things are very very important because these things will help you to de-stress because stress also plays a very important a very big role in pcod or pcos so these things you can cope by doing exercises or specific yoga poses for pcod or pcos internet is full of those information just search these things on internet and start doing exercises every single day especially breathing exercises and yoga asanas also very important but when menses starts at that time, just avoid doing any kind of exercise or physical activity. Yes, you can work. Yes, you can move. I'm not saying to you to sit at home. You can do all these things, but don't go for extreme. Means doing exercises, running, going for long walks. Avoid these things whenever menstruation is going on. All other general works, daily works, Continue with them, but no extreme exhaustion, no extreme workouts, no extreme physical activities. Try them out. I hope this video will be helpful for you. See you next video with a big smile. Up to the time. Smile more. Stay happy. Stay healthy.